Hi, it's Andy, and in this video, you're going to learn how to play Naudo's version of Careless Whisper as he played it on YouTube. Here we go. So when the video starts, he's uh, partially through the chorus. Unfortunately, we didn't see the first line of the song on the video. It kind of starts a few measures into the tune. But so that's where we're going to start to. So he's starting on a, a D minor 7 chord, and we're going to learn that. Here we go. So to start the tune, you're going to start with your first finger playing a mini bar chord where your first finger presses down two strings on fret 1, like this. Okay, then your middle finger is going to play next. That's finger 2. And we're going to press down second fret string 3. Okay, there's your D minor 7 chord. This is a chord that has four notes in it. You play the four skinniest strings. So we've got open D, we've got second fret, and we have two first fret notes. It's a D minor 7. Okay, now in the video you'll see him press his pinky in there also. Pinky finger is going to play third fret on string one. So it's another variation of the chord. It makes, uh, it makes a melody note there. Okay, now let's learn the exact picking. Here we go. Now start with your pinky finger in position, third fret, string one. And we're going to play string one as well as string four. And you get this sound. Okay, now take your pinky away and play string one, string two, string three. All right, let's review. That sounds like this. All right, now if you play that twice, it sounds like this. That's what you hear on the, on the video right there. All right, let's move on. Let's move into the second measure. Now in this measure, he plays first fret on the low string with his thumb, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use first finger to play that note. It's a low F. Okay, now combine that low F with a high F. Fret one, string one, and play them together. All right, so once you have that octave going, then the next thing to do is play open E, then 1st fret, 2nd string, 2nd fret on the 3rd string, 3rd fret on the 4th string. That makes an F finger shape. You might recognize that one. I see why he plays it with his thumb. It's a little easier. Okay, let's move on to the next section. The next section is a, like a scale based in E minor or E phrygian. Here we go. So you're going to play the low E as well as an octave E, which is located on the second fret string four. Hit them together. Then the next move is to hammer on from the second fret to the third fret. Next note, open G. 2nd fret on the G string, open B, hammer on to the 1st fret, 3rd fret on the B string, and then slide from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret on the B string, and then finally open B. Okay, that sounds like this. faster. Okay, so far we've covered this. All right, let's move on to the next section. Now we're going to play this part. 
Let's learn that. Okay, this section is a bar chord on the fifth fret across three strings. And what you're going to do is you're going to hit open A first. Then you're going to play this bar chord, but you're going to add a, a, a pull off in there. You're going to play seventh fret on string one with your bar chord. Then you're going to pull that seventh fret note away so that the fifth fret rings out. Then the following move is to play string two and string three. So we just played this. Okay, and then it's almost the same thing again. This time, no pull off though. Just pick the notes. So it's like the same thing twice in a row. First one has a pull off, second one doesn't. Okay, then the next move that you hear him play on the video is he goes to a traditional A minor finger shape and he plays string one, string two, string three. That's just filler. There's no melody there. He's just filling in some eighth notes. Okay, let's move on. Next section we already covered. It's that D minor seven again. Alright, then the next section we already covered this. This is the F with the thumb. Okay, and then the next section we already covered this too. It's the scale. Okay, that was the first 24 seconds of the video. And I'm going to see you in part two where we cover the next section. See you next time.